Hi, I'm Laura McKenzie, and welcome to a look at some of the most beautiful and romantic vacation destinations in the world, from beaches and five-star resorts to safari and yachting adventures. But that's not all, because romance is not just a place, it's created with a mood. So join me as we discover some of the most amazing, exciting, and romantic vacation getaways in the world. One destination that's always been a favorite for romantic travelers is London. Here, couples can find the ultimate in elegance and sophistication, not to mention romance. England is a love story in itself, from its history of kings and knights in shining armor, to the everyday ceremony that's carried on today. London is where you can relive the legend. Everyone's fascination with the monarchy is ongoing, and not far from Buckingham Palace is a romantic hotel where everyone is treated like royalty. It's called the Athenaeum Hotel and Apartments right in the heart of London on Piccadilly. From the moment you arrive, you're struck by the atmosphere that's at once sophisticated yet very welcoming. Renowned for its private and relaxed environment, the service is personal and discreet with a tendency to attract some pretty famous clientele. Managing Director Sally Bullock understands what it takes to keep these very selective travelers returning again and again. In my opinion, it's the staff. I think if you stay in a hotel, you've got to be made to feel welcome. They've got to really care. It's not just a smile, it's a smile with the eyes. And hopefully, no one ever says no to anything reasonable. Rooms and suites are beautifully decorated in designer fabrics with several different decors to choose from. Guests often request the same room again and again, and styles range from English chintz and antiques to rooms with a more contemporary feel. All rooms have direct dial phones with voicemail, color TV with satellite channels and VCRs, stereo CD players, in-room safes, and completely stocked minibars. Other nice touches include bathrobes and slippers and coffee and tea making facilities. In fact, some guests become so comfortable in their particular room that they often decide to just order in. Room service. And who wouldn't stay in for champagne and caviar? Bathrooms are an elegant display of gray marble and gleaming chrome fixtures with power showers offering a relaxing break from a long day of sightseeing and shopping. Other amenities include fine English toiletries and personal hair dryers. But if it's a home away from home that you're searching for in London, look no further. The Athenaeum's townhouse apartments are really something special. I believe it's the apartments that make this hotel totally unique. They give people a feeling of having their own apartment in London but they've got all the services of a hotel. Located just around the corner, a row of luxury townhouses each have a private entrance, and most have only two apartments per floor. Spacious living rooms are perfect for extended stays and are furnished elegantly and comfortably with all amenities. Apartments have one or two bedrooms, also decorated in designer fabrics. And the bathrooms were just redone in Italian marble. They have a kitchen, even with a washing machine and dryer. We'll do your shopping for you. You can invite people in. We'll cook a dinner party for you, even. And it's your own front door in London. The apartments also have video entry phones allowing you privacy as well as security. Can I come up? This rare solitude has made the Athenaeum very popular with celebrities, and it's often referred to as the Hotel to the Stars. I think they can be discreet and stay here and no one's going to bother them. They can sit in the lounge, they can sit in the bar, the restaurant, and feel as though they're just at home themselves. Maybe it's because the lounge is just like sitting in your own living room. It's comfortable, it's homey. In fact, many of the celebrities can often be spotted enjoying the breakfast that's served right here, surrounded by books and pillows and flowers. And particularly when they're making a film, that's where the apartments come into their own because they've got the space that you wouldn't normally find in a hotel, their own front door, or they can come into the hotel and use it like any other guest. The Whiskey Bar is another favorite gathering spot for locals as well as guests, especially when the complimentary canapes are served early in the evening. 
In fact, Sally often hosts cocktail parties for her guests to meet one another. The Athenaeum's award-winning restaurant pays homage to both its celebrity clientele and to Sally herself when they named it in her honor. Yes. Well, anyone with a name like Bullock, you would think it was impossible. I actually thought when the new owners bought it, they were going to fire me. In fact, they said, could we name the restaurant after you? And I said, well, Sally's. And they said, no, Bullock's. And I said, it must be mad. But it seems to have worked. It's going very well. Very well indeed. Bullock's restaurant is a feast for both the eyes and the palate. And with its undeniably romantic atmosphere, it's the perfect place for that special evening out. With its beautiful interior and award-winning continental cuisine, it's quickly becoming one of London's favorite spots. But its menu and decor aren't the only attraction here. Well, I thought we'd make it a bit of fun, but every time someone who was famous in the entertainment business stayed, I asked if I could put their name on a chair and a little brass plaque, and they said yes, and I give 300 pounds to their favorite charity. And as you can see from the restaurant, it's worked out very well. We've got practically the whole of Hollywood in there, I think. This is temporary, mine's uh, being engraved. If all that critically acclaimed cuisine has you looking for the closest health club, look no further. The Athenaeum provides guests with a spa that's rather remarkable, as its full range of services are not easy to find here in London. You can see probably from my figure I don't use those wonderful facilities, but we've got, we hope, everything a guest would want. The treadmills, the cardiovascular machines, the rowing machines. The thing I'm told by Americans, which is our greatest asset, is the steam room, because that's very unusual in a health spa in London. And we have a sauna and a 12-foot jacuzzi, which I say is a swimming pool for smaller people, but a jacuzzi for bigger people. And it's just for guests, that's the other thing, so it never gets crowded. Other luxury touches include full salon services, showers and changing rooms with hair dryers, lockers and makeup mirrors. We have everything from massage of every different type, Swedish, shiatsu, ordinary. I don't take my clothes off and be massaged so I haven't actually had them but I'm told by guests they're some of the best in London. In fact, that would be the perfect way to describe the Athenaeum on most any topic. From its inviting and luxurious rooms and suites, relaxing public areas, delightful dining experiences, and unparalleled staff and service, the Athenaeum is without a doubt one of the best hotels London has to offer, and has certainly earned its own celebrity status. Laura McKenzie's Bed and Champagne will be right back.